So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Crypto Crow, and Cardano is about to get 10 times faster. What could you do with a 10 times faster Cardano? Uh, a lot of things come to my mind. So check out Murder of Crows. Dot io if you're interested in fun nfts just something that i've been doing uh for quite some time now and uh, just supports me and my channel and what i do uh cardano ada oroboros laos upcoming upgrade makes transactions 10 times faster we're going to dive into this a little bit but uh, you know uh, across the board when i look at cardano's development one of the pivotal things that i'm looking for is hydra i mean hydra i really do believe is going to help change the game for cardano and make it that much more competitive because what we really need are secure micro transactions on cardano uh, because right now the one of the limitations that cardano does have is you can't really send micro transactions because micro transactions cost too much in in ada uh it might cost one or two ada to send you know anything now granted if you're sending bulk uh transactions in one block which most blockchains can't do and a lot of people don't even really seem to know this about cardano but i can do i can do one um transaction on the cardano blockchain but within that transaction I have a multiple different items, multiple things going on in that one transaction or that one block or whatever. And so I could be paying one transaction fee for a multitude of, of actions, whereas most other blockchains, every, every it's one, 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 one. And so you're paying a transaction fee for each one of those individual things. And, and that's all going to be changing. Well, not the multiple uh, items in one block type thing, but... Uh, all of that is going to be changing with uh, the enhancement of Hydra and basically, you know, every node basically being able to handle like a thousand transactions per second. And we've got like 3000 nodes and I'm sure it'll continue to grow and grow and grow. But, you know, before we get there, we're looking at transaction speed. So Vanessa Harris, Web3 product lead and crypto advisor, shares an eccentric analogy for the next upgrade to the key consensus for the Cardano blockchain. Here's how the slight change to data logistics can advance throughput and value transfer speed for all Cardano accounts. Cardano's Ouroboros Laos upgrade advances its transaction speed 10x. Here's how. In our latest thread, Harris compared Cardano's Ouroboros Laos upgrade to the work of a Disney ride operator. It is set to advance the resource efficiency of its node usage. Cardano's upcoming improvement to Ouroboros Laos is impressive, Disney level impressive. It's a 10x improvement to transaction speed only possible with UTXOs accomplished by allowing idle node to com computation to do computations between blocks that can be bundled in the next block. She said on Twitter, mm. She compared ADA with this upgrade to a Disney park. The operators get everyone ready, so when it's their turn, the visitor can just hop on the ride. With this approach, there's no way to park resources. There is no way for park resources to stay idle, regardless of the number of visitors in a certain period of time. Cardano's Ouroboros Laos works in, similar, works in a similar manner. It leverages nodes that previously used to be idle. They can do computations between blocks. Input endorsers are chosen between blocks to prepare inputs. These inputs are then included in the next block by the block producer. This results in a monstrous transaction speed boost. The blockchain is able to have its verification speed increased by orders of magnitude. Such changes are only available to blockchains with the UTXO model, the researcher added. So, uh, yeah, I mean, look, Cardano is going to continue getting upgraded. I mean, listen, the, 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 here's the thing. We have so many different things happening in the Cardano space and you know some of it gets overlooked because of the fud by comp competing projects or venture capital groups i've been doing some research of of my own and i've been looking at a lot of the blockchains that were venture funded and how many of these projects get vc funded and if you it's funny because you can see patterns you can see patterns in projects that were funded initially by venture capitalists and and that you 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 they kind of have this weird um i don't know what the word i'm looking for is but a, a weird tribalism 
associated with them. And I honestly do believe that a part of that is by design by these venture capital firms. It's this kind of divide and conquer mentality where we're superior, we're better, and everything else is garbage. But in reality, it's just marketing. Um, because in the, the reality of blockchain is that there's room for everyone. And every blockchain can specialize in a specific niche that's relevant to a, pr a product or a service or a functionality or something of that nature. And there's room for all of them. Uh, we're still so new in the space that it doesn't really matter, right? But these venture capitalists, they're greedy. They want to protect their investment. They want their resource. They want their money. You know, if they want, if they invest $100 million into something, they want to see $12 billion back and they don't want to wait until tomorrow to get it. So a lot of them put money uh, into the, into marketing and things and creating these sentiments that ultimately drive up FOMO. <sighs> so it is what it is. But I mean, I, when I think about ChatGPT and its use in Cardano, Marlowe, the interoperability protocols associated with Cardano, the just everything that's coming and considering how early we are. I mean, we're still like a year from the having, folks. And we're already sitting at around 38 cents. We've been hovering at around 38 cents. And realistically, we've been so sideways now on a daily chart when it comes to Bitcoin and Cardano and, and pretty much everything for that matter. And a lot of people are saying we could break up or down. And yeah, we're going to. Um, let me take a quick look at High Block Capital just to give everybody a little bit of a perspective as to what's happening um, and, and where some of this money is. Because money's lining up for sure. And we're seeing a lot of liquidity sitting around. I mean, it's still sitting around 28,125, um, 28,400. I mean, listen, we're just, a, we're in a sideways market. And a lot of this is confusion, uh, I believe. A lot of it is just people taking a break. So, you know, it is what it is. But until next time, guys, crow your coins. Check out murderofcrows.io. Help support me and the channel. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I've been on a little bit of a break, and I'm back. So I'm going to be loading up a lot of content this week, even though I have my entire family here for, like, a whole week. So uh, it's 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 going to be busy. And I might get more and more tired as these videos progress through the week. So until next time, guys, crow your coins, and I'll see you soon.